This might be the move. Man, this is just the messiest shot in the world. You thought these were ridiculous. <laughs> Look at these. I'm gonna try to get through this with a straight face and talk about this here Weeble S gimbal. Is this show about me being an idiot or about camera gear? You decide. All right. What? I do not want F22. I wanna talk about something that I am very excited about, something that uh, I've tested out a little bit and still have a lot to learn about. So this is gonna be not really a review, but more so a, a chit chat. This right here is the Zion Weeble S. I've never owned a gimbal before, but this thing has made me fall in love with using a gimbal, which is probably bad because now I have no desire to learn how to do steady handheld footage. I have a friend who's really, really good at it. His name is Alex. His Instagram is Curious Wajum. I'll link it right there. Anyway, today we are talking about the Zion Weeble S, uh, more so just kind of going over the things I like about it. So. First of all, is a very small compact gimbal, um, one that you're gonna love to use if you're a traveler. I brought this thing with me to the NAM convention in Anaheim, California, and was able to take a few parts off, just the mounting plate and these legs at the bottom. I screwed these off, and then I could put the rest of it just on the side of my backpack. I have the Low Pro Pro Tactic 350, so it's a pretty small backpack, um, and it stayed on fine it kept it fine it was very small didn't really get in the way i did lay my backpack down a few times and like i scratched it up a little bit so other than this thing being small and compact what i really enjoy about it a that it's very easy to balance compared to some of the other gimbals i've used and they put stronger motors in it from the weeble lab from what i understand so it's smaller but holds a higher load capacity so you can put like small cinema cameras on this and it'll work fine with the cine lens and everything i put on my sony a7 III with my tamron 28 to 75 and it's not a huge setup but it is slightly heavy just with the big lens and all it takes it like a champ another thing that i really enjoy about it is it has some cool modes like vortex mode which i will show you guys a clip of while i'm talking basically with vortex mode you can flip the gimbal down and then the camera will spin you can pull in or out and get some really cool shots and then with that vortex mode i'm kind of going to go into the fact that you can unscrew the legs and screw them in up here and you got under slung mode it's really stupid like showing you this with no camera on but i have one camera because i'm broke and i'm still in debt because of this one i could put my point and shoot on but either way use it up there you have the under slug mode and i really enjoy I use it more like that than I do like this. I don't like the double handle here. I usually hold it with the double handle like this and it works fairly well. Now, one thing that I really, really am sad about, the app, uh, I don't wanna say it sucks for Zion because with a lot of their gimbals, there are some really cool features, but when I used it, there was not a lot of cool features. It basically just gave me the buttons and the joystick there on the back, but virtually. Uh, I really wanted the, the mimic mode where you can use your phone and like it follows your phone however you move your phone. Uh, I don't know if you have to have the image transmission module under it to do that. How long is this video? Holy <laughs> shit, we're at nine minutes. This is gonna be a long one. Yeah, <laughs> bottom line is this gimbal is definitely something worth the money when you're looking at around 450 bucks, I believe, for just the gimbal itself, none of the add-ons. Definitely worth the money. Um, I'm gonna add in some shots at the end of this, just gimbal shots, ones that I've gotten, so you guys can kind of check it out and see how she works. I'll leave you guys with that. That is it. Enjoy these gimbal shots. Have a wonderful day.